If you like movies, check out my movie review channel. Every single movie title you see on the screen, I have a video about coming out within the next two weeks. I'm uploading a video every day for two weeks, so uh, definitely make sure you're subscribed there. The link is in the description below. I got some other stuff on there too, some like breakdowns of certain scenes I like and things like that, so check it out. So who is winning Super Bowl 57? I put a poll up on this channel simply asking who's winning the Super Bowl. 58% of you said Eagles, and then 42% of you said Chiefs. This is over 7,000 votes. So, man, people love to vote on polls, apparently. Uh, you know, a lot of votes here. Uh, but, you know, despite a lot of votes, it still was very close. Only a, you know, uh, only a 16 percentage point swing. That feels relatively close. It doesn't feel like a blowout in any way. So, I was interested in hearing kind of what were the thoughts on the comments. I didn't say I was going to make a video out of this, but I figure no one will mind if I use their comments on this uh, video. So, let's get into it. As a Chiefs fan, hate to say it, but I think the Eagles got this one. They are just a more well-rounded team, along with a lot of star talent. I think the only way the Chiefs win is if the Eagles beat themselves, which they haven't shown any indication that they would. Or Pat, Kelsey, and Chris Jones literally all have the best games of their career, which is also very unlikely considering they will get all the attention from the Eagles. But I just hope it's close, unlike that damn Bucks game. Uh, well, hey, uh, I had a great time during that Bucks game, but, you know, again, uh, I understand why that wouldn't be as fun for you. Yeah, I think this is interesting. Again, it, it this does feel to be like the sentiment among a lot of people is that the Chiefs might have the star talent, but they don't necessarily have help around them. I kind of disagree a little bit. And you've, if you've heard my prediction, I have the Chiefs winning. So you can see, maybe understand why I feel differently is I think there's a bit more help around uh, Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, and Chris Jones than people realize. But there is no doubt about it. The Eagles do have, the Eagles are a more, more well-rounded team. We can debate how much more well-rounded, but they are more well-rounded, and that absolutely can win you a Super Bowl. I would say the Chiefs, but Mahomes won MVP, so I'm going with the Eagles. Yeah, that's a good point, right? I sort of forgot about that. There's the MVP curse, where the MVP never seemingly wins the Super Bowl, or it's, it's been forever since it's happened. So, uh, could it continue? I don't know. Uh, it's interesting, because it's one of those things that you, uh, you know, on face value, would say, okay, that's just complete coincidence. That, you know, Sometimes weird things happen. That's one of those weird coincidence things, right? Uh, like every now, you know, uh, I don't know. Like the Buccaneers going for forever before they got a, a kickoff return for a touchdown, right? Sometimes just, just those weird things happen. Uh, it's not, there doesn't say anything other than that. But maybe there is something to it. Maybe typically the player who wins MVP has to kind of do more of the legwork. And then once they get to the playoffs, there are flaws on the roster which can get exposed. And you could argue this could be a scenario where that happens. Going up against Philadelphia, a team that definitely, uh, you know, could explode a flaw if there is one there. And the question, you know, kind of goes back to the last point of, you know, are the Eagles a more well-rounded team? Uh, that could actually, you know, be a factor. So while it seems kind of silly to say it, there actually might be something real to it. The one place the Eagles have a slight weakness is defending the run. But Coach Reed doesn't like to call run plays Philly 28 to 17. Uh, so this is definitely something I've talked about as well on the previews, which I think is a fair thing to bring up. The way that you beat the Eagles is in the running game. They have had some failures defending the run this season. Part of it is, you know, they make sure they defend deep, which can leave them a little bit more vulnerable in that area. But still, that is a weakness. And it you know, it's a strength for the Chiefs running the ball. They're pretty good at it. So this is something they could do. They just don't love to run the football. That's just not what they do. And again, is that a bad thing or a good thing, though, is the question. Well, on one hand, I'm always a favor in favor of throw the ball as much as possible. If you throw the ball constantly, you tend to have success. So being able to throw the ball consistently is a smart strategy. But the flip side, of course, is that if you uh, run the ball, uh, you could actually have more success in this game. And at least, you know, keep your offensive linemen more rested. It does help set up other things, even if some people overvalue how much that matters. It does matter to some degree. 
I think what people are underestimating is that the Chiefs are battle-tested and they have Mahomes. Mahomes, more so than Hurts, can make the last-minute scoring drive happen. If the Chiefs don't turn the ball over, they win 31-27. However, the game could very well come down to a bad call against the Chiefs because Carl Sheffers is the lead referee. He's the worst. Listen, I'm not going to get into referee talk here. Uh, obviously, there's all, you know there's a lot of t- st- that stuff in the comments, but who knows what's going to happen there. I don't think the NFL is rigged or anything. I think it's just... Sometimes bad calls happen, but uh, and maybe that's a video for the offseason to talk about. But I do think that the other points are very valid. I think being battle tested, I do think there's something to that. Again, on this channel especially, I talk a lot about analytics and numbers and you know playing football on a spreadsheet and all of that stuff. But this is a team in the Eagles that has been, you know, they haven't had to do much. It's not their fault. Like they earned their right to get here. It's not their fault. They haven't played anybody significantly in the playoffs. I mean, this is just, it's how the cookie crumbles. And in a way it could be the negative because now they're going to get punched in the mouth for the first time all season. Really, this is easily the best team the Eagles have had to play all year because even in their you know their regular season schedule wasn't like weak necessarily but they didn't have to play a ton of great teams was the issue with it so because of that this is easily going to be the best team they've played they might be playing the best team you know a top two team in football right I would say so I'd say these two teams are the best two teams in football so it's just going to be a different animal and we're going to have to see how they will react to it maybe they'll react well I don't know but we just don't know um, also, of course, Mahomes, uh, incredible, can, you know, the, the point of, can he make the last minute scoring drive happen? We've seen Mahomes make the last second scoring drive happen, right? It only needs 13 seconds, but I don't know if it's fair to say he can do it better than Hertz because Hertz is just more unproven, whereas Mahomes is proven. So you have to give the edge to Mahomes, but I think Hertz could definitely make a, a final minute drive happen as well if needed. The Eagles aren't playing an overachieving nine-win Giants team or a 49ers team without a quarterback this time, and cockiness is a hell of a drug, so I'll take Kansas City. I don't know if cockiness is the right word I would use. Uh, Maybe overconfidence, which I guess is kind of the same thing, but cockiness to me implies like you believe you can do no wrong, whereas I think uh, you know overconfidence would be they literally have done no wrong. They have been able to blow out every team in the playoffs so far, and in some ways, that might actually be a good thing. Having that kind of confidence could play do wonders, especially you get up early on. You know That could allow you to keep going, but you definitely feel like that's not going to be the whole game. You definitely feel like there are going to be moments where things go wrong, uh, where they're going to get frustrated. And for a team that doesn't get frustrated often, maybe the issues will compound. And a good example of this, I think, was when the Chiefs got blown out two Super Bowls ago when they were, you know, in a situation where they basically dominated all year. Uh, I believe only lost one or two games with Mahomes all season. Uh, so then they go to Tampa Bay, uh, who, you know, and again, they even had a, Kansas City even did pretty, uh, things went pretty well for them in the playoffs as well. They won with a backup quarterback against Cleveland, dominated against the Bills, and then come uh, Tampa Bay time, they ended up uh, going down early, and they kind of made some issues and tried to do too much, which ended up having them go down into a a bigger hole. I think they still lose regardless, but still, it is something that can matter. Best O-line, D-line, number one versus pass, 14 Pro Bowlers and alternates, five All-Pros. Yeah, that seems impressive. <laughs> it's very much a uh, reason to say, yeah, okay, this t- team could easily win the Super Bowl. That They're here for a reason, right? This is the Eagles, of course, uh, that I'm assuming Ted is referring to, uh, which is, you know, uh, it's true. Uh, offensive line, defensive line are, you know, very good. If not the best defensive line, certainly up there. And I think easily the best offensive line, uh, you know, great at defending the pass. But again, with Mahomes coming to town, it is a little bit different. And of course, you also have to factor in like, you know, uh, there's other stuff to football than just all of that stuff. Mah- you know, the Chiefs have great talent as well. But listen, If the Eagles win this Super Bowl, no one's going to be surprised. And then finally, Robert Thomas says, don't care, aren't watching it. So, okay, uh, I don't know why you're you're here then. I don't know how you got here. But again, thank you for the support on commenting on my uh, poll, even if you aren't planning on watching the Super Bowl. Uh, You know, I didn't didn't think anyone uh, followed me if they didn't watch the Super Bowl. But interesting to see at least someone does. So, uh, yeah, that's my thoughts. Are you going to watch the Super Bowl? Let me know in the comments below who do you have and why. Uh, Not going to make a video again on it, but just, you know, uh, could be a fun discussion in the comments below. I do get both sides. I think it should be an awesome Super Bowl. But yeah, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.